G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo. Great to see you all again. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you guys and girls out there that are looking at setting up their ute or getting a vehicle to suit their needs as a contractor or an apprentice. I get asked questions all the time about what is the best setup to have for my trade, most of them being carpenters and joiners. Well, I have done a review on a high A's van and I've done a review on a ute. I have to say, um, as a builder and what I do, I find the ute much better. When I was doing my apprenticeship, I found the van extremely economical and the ability to lock up all of my tools inside that van was really useful. Doing a lot of homework nowadays, I use this exact setup that I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna show you what I use every single day. And I'm also gonna show you a couple of little tricks that you can do with your toolboxes to keep your tools safe. Last year, just in Victoria alone, we had $11 million worth of tools stolen from the backs of tradesmen's vehicles. And it's become so commonplace that I know a lot of tradies that are putting full alarm systems in the backs of their ute. And why wouldn't you with the amount of money that we spend on it and we don't get that money back when we lose our tools. It takes us a long time to have to try and get tools back or the tools that we do get back or the insurance payouts that we do get don't always match the tools that we've lost especially in sentimental value as well so here what we've got is a ute and rack system with a gap between the two toolboxes so i can put some doors or cement sheet or uh, soil or anything like that down there this setup works for me and my work perfectly here you can see We've got toolboxes on each side and we've got that hole down the middle where we can put any of the heavy sheets or doors. This is a very long tray, it's a 2.4, it's 1800. We can take these toolboxes off, we can do whatever we want with them. The rack system itself isn't too high, it's 1900 off the ground. That's the perfect type for me if I'm putting timber on or taking timber off. I don't have to overstretch. Uh, and it also gives me a little bit of play if I have to go into underground parking if I'm working in the city or in certain apartment buildings. You need to be really careful about the height of these racks. If you get a big four wheel drive or if you get a four wheel drive that's been jacked up at the back, then these racks can be too high. As soon as they hit 2.1, then obviously it gets too hard to put material on the roof and then park underground. So it's good to have it at about 1800 and then you've got 200 mil of play on top for your materials if you need it. One of my favorite systems I've seen is a tray just like this and he had drawers one big drawer down the side and then two or three drawers off the side that way. You have to be careful when you're setting up your ute for the weight that you put on it. If you put too much weight in the tray then it lifts it up and then when you load it with materials it's like you're driving on a cloud and you don't have very good control of it. And then on top of that if you have to tow with it it just becomes way too dangerous. Danger, danger, danger. Don't do it. Think about the way that you stack your car. Think about the way that you're setting it up. Big one for me is choose your toolbox as well. This toolbox is off the shelf, HRD. Now, good lifters on it on both sides, a dust seal on it, great use of space all the way through here. But the big thing to me, which is a big no-no, is the type of locking mechanism. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, for what it is, it's okay. It's a cheap box. It's only about $300. My boxes I got made up for the back of my ute ended up costing me about three grand, uh, $1,500 per box. And the locking lugs are all interdone. So the, the pins and everything, you can't undo them. Uh, they're very, very good system. Another big thing that I would suggest for people to do is to put and you can go to any auto electrician to do this, is to put an alarm system on your toolbox. So if anybody comes and they start fiddling with your tools or your toolboxes, then your alarm on your car goes off and that alarms you <laughs> straight away. And so you can come out with a chainsaw and chop their legs off. Now let's have another look at another type of toolbox. Now this type of toolbox is an excellent toolbox. It's folded steel, one mil thick. It's very heavy, but it's also very heavy duty. I've actually had this box for about 15 years, never given me any problems, fantastic box. Because it's folded steel and actually folds over the edges, it's, you can't get anything underneath and pry it open. So it's all interlocked. With a full hinge, the entire way down the box, it's very hard to try and get those hinges off. 
and the locking system comes over the top comes down so make sure if you get one of these locking lug systems that the cover covers the bolt system so you can't get into that either and that this is hardened steel this has been set up for a level across the top here locking lug on that so it stays up into position i've divided her up works very well i even had a sensor in here for quite a long time and that was hardwired straight into my other toolboxes in my ute toolbox like this now would cost a pretty penny but you can get them second hand pretty easy so i suggest to do that look around see what you can get gum tree is a great place to have a look they can always you can always get some good deals in there especially when people are getting rid of their utes or they're upgrading the back of their ute so there you have it there's many different ways to look at the back of a ute different systems that you can have for racking uh, you can have different draw systems you can have a whole shell over the entire back of your ute what you need to do is figure out what you're going to do most there's not going to be one solution that covers all of your bases but you can get something that covers most of your bases most of the time you're doing extremely well thank you very much for watching like always stay on real banana peel and i'll see you in the soup